When we're born, we just want to learn and be heard. We're open. We try to connect with everyone and try everything. Who am I? Where do I belong? How does the world work? What if we could open up and learn like a child again? Sustained dialogue isn't a debate with winners and losers. Instead, it asks questions. What is our identity? What things are important to us? Who has power in society? And how does all of this affect our perceptions and the way we interact with others? I can walk hand in hand with my partner in most communities that I want to go to without being afraid of being harassed or attacked. If this is true for you, take a step forward. When people picture college students, they think of someone my age. No matter how far away my parking spot is, I know I can handle the walk. If the authorities stop me, I can be sure that I haven't been singled out because of my race. I can go out to eat or party more than once a week without having to worry about how to pay for it. When people call December break Christmas break, it is accurate for me. When people look at me and guess what my gender identity is, they are usually right. Myself and many of my ancestors did not migrate to the USA or migrate within the USA voluntarily. If this is true for you, take a step backward. Everybody has the big eight within them, and that's a part of their identity. To me, it felt like if the people in the back, that I could take a hand and just like somehow help them to reach the same place as me. Growing up, my parents not knowing I was trans, um, we're very, you know, the police are there to serve in your best interests. Trust them. But growing up and seeing trans interactions with the police taught me a total different um, interpretation of that. Traditionally, the statistic is that women make 79 cents to a man's dollar, but black women make less than that. They make about 63 cents to a white man's dollar. And so traditional feminism is saying, let's get those extra 21 cents so that we have the same dollar. But if you add 21 cents to 63 cents, which is what a black woman makes, we're still not at a dollar. And there's no way for me to separate my blackness from being a woman so that I can have that full dollar. If I'm, let's say, applying for a job and they see that I'm black, that aspect of my identity is going to disadvantage me or hinder me in that situation but if I go to a gathering and I'm straight that might help me more than somebody who isn't so that's how I see intersectionality working together within me. I think intersectionality is a wonderful concept because the way I view it is it is as if you are a puzzle and all these little bits and pieces you're supposed to put them together and it creates you as a person and when you understand how those pieces fit it just makes you feel whole now we know about injustice and racism sexism classism etc and it challenges what we thought we knew Aren't we all supposed to be the same? What happens when we aren't? How do we talk to each other? Something that I shared with my smaller group during the socioeconomic status talk was I would be asked to go somewhere like a club and have to pay cover and buy drinks for myself. I would have to say no because I didn't have enough to go that night. We would tiptoe around it, not really say I don't have money. And after the retreat, when I had all these conversations with other people about it, I realized that there's nothing to be ashamed of and other people are in the same situation as you. Being able to share those experiences with other people and hear other perspectives about it was very relieving. I was in sort of a more heated dialogue. It sort of bordered on debate about the topic of race. And there's something that we say in SD, people use the words that they have. And sometimes those words don't feel too good, but they're trying. I feel like I was able to make heart-to-heart -heart connections. And when I see Pulse people on campus, I now know a little bit more about who they are as humans and not just another face that I see on campus. 
When we were young, our identity seemed so simple. But the more we grow, the more we encounter difference, and the more complex and interesting life becomes. Sustained dialogue gives us a way to explore the intersections of our own identity, so we can better understand ourselves, others, and the world around us. To get involved or start a chapter at your campus, contact the Sustained Dialogue Institute.